Oh, look at that. This very shiny, very curvy new phone is the Honor 90, the sequel to last year's Honor 70, and it packs in some pretty impressive specs. A 200 megapixel main camera, we also have an upgraded selfie, a brand new Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 accelerated 5G chip, so a slightly overclocked version of this new processor, a bigger battery, the screen gives you less eye strain, and it's all packaged in this super sleek design. Although if you're not a fan of curved screens, you may want to look away. And best of all, the Honor 90 here in the UK starts at just £449. So I reckon this is shaping up to be a pretty interesting phone. Now, a big thank you to Honor for sending this out and also for sponsoring this video. So this is not a review, but I do want to sort of walk you through the phone, show you what you get. And also it's true with any video I make sponsored or otherwise that I only cover devices that I think are actually worth talking about. So let me show you around the Honor 90. And the very first thing you'll notice is the weight. It's 183 grams. Compare that to the 240 gram iPhone 14 Pro Max, which shares the same 6.7 inch screen size. It's a night and day difference. This thing is incredibly light. We also have this quad curved floating display as they call it. So you can see on all the edges, on all the corners, the screen curves round, making it look and feel very sleek. And the rounded corners make it really comfortable to hold, albeit a little bit slippery I found. Although the good news is they do bundle a case in the box. And we also have Honor's 66 watt supercharger, as well as a USB cable. Now, Honor tell me this design is inspired by luxury jewelry. I have the diamond silver model here, but it also comes in emerald green, peacock blue, and also a midnight black. The only problem living in the UK, I say the only problem, uh, but they mark this sort of CE UK logo on the back of phones, but legally here they do have to put that on the phone, so it's not really their fault. And then at the top here, we have this dual ring camera system, which houses the three sensors. So it is certainly an eye-catching design, and I do really like how thin and light it is. Uh, a couple of issues I do have though, firstly, while the speaker is improved versus the Honor 70, it sounds better. It is just a single bottom firing speaker, not stereo. And there's also no official IP water resistance rating, although I imagine it's somewhat splash proof. Uh, and also of course, no micro SD or headphone jack. Let's talk about this screen because it is a real highlight. It's 6.7 inches, 120 hertz, full HD plus, AMOLED. Now what is new this year with the Honor 90 is a higher peak brightness, now up to 1600 nits, which makes it easier to use outdoors in the sunshine. And also your HDR videos and movies look more vibrant. And speaking of HDR, this does support HDR 10 plus, and is also Prime Video and Netflix HDR certified. Although sadly no Dolby Vision support. They're also really proud of their eye comfort features with this because in addition to the dynamic dimming and their circadian night display, the Honor 90 has a class leading pulse width modulation of 3840 Hz. Now without boring you all to death, PWM is basically a feature of a display that can rapidly turn the backlight of the pixels on and off very, very quickly, faster than you can actually perceive. But the higher the frequency, so the more often it can do it per second, it actually reduces the brightness output and therefore can actually reduce eye strain, particularly at lower brightness. And I am someone who does like to scroll in bed. I'm uh, guilty of going on Reddit for like an hour before I get to sleep and then my brain's all churning and I can't go to sleep. And it's just another feature that can help reduce eye strain, which I always appreciate. But I think the most notable step ups from last year's Honor 70 is the processor and the camera. Now with the Honor 90, we have the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 Accelerated Edition, which as I say, is an overclocked version of the regular 7 Gen 1. And it is a solid upgrade over last year's 778G+. We're looking at about 20% uptick in graphics performance and the AI is around 30% faster, which comes in handy particularly for the camera. And they've also added a big vapor chamber cooler, which does a great job keeping it cool while gaming. The other advantage of the chip, which is, as I say, more efficient, combined with the new bigger battery, we've got a 5,000 mAh cell in here, up from 4,800 last year. Uh, the battery lasts a good deal longer. I'm getting to about 11 p.m. at night with my general use, and I still have about 25% of the battery left. I remember last year with the Honor 70, it was more like 15, 18%, so definitely I've noticed an uptick, and uh, I wanna actually say that just streaming local video, you should get just under 20 hours from this. So battery life, despite how slim this is, is actually very impressive. Plus the 66 watt supercharger can top you up to 45% in 15 minutes, although sadly the Honor 90 doesn't support any kind of wireless charging. So it's faster, it lasts longer, we've got a refresh design, but I reckon the biggest upgrade is in the camera department. Let's talk about this 200 megapixel camera. Because with that resolution, we're talking 16 into one pixel binning, which helps improve detail, reduce noise, and also gives us a better, almost lossless two time zoom, which I always prefer for portrait shots. And the Honor 90's new enhanced portrait mode gives us much more natural looking shots in a wider variety of lighting than we had before. 
So 200 megapixel main camera with a 1 over 1.4 inch sensor, plus a 12 megapixel ultra wide, which doubles as a macro, and actually with an impressively short 2.5 centimeter focal length, and finally, a 2 megapixel depth camera, no telephoto sadly. And finally, around the front, the Honor 90 boasts an upgraded 50 megapixel selfie camera, up from 32 last year. But as you guys know, it's not just the hardware that counts when it comes to the camera, and Honor have put a lot of work in behind the scenes, improving the software, the processing, and the AI algorithm. And to my eye at least, and I've been testing this for a couple of weeks now, and of course keeping that price tag in mind, I've come away quite impressed by the Honor 90's camera. Now video tops out at 4K30, no 4K60 sadly, but that does apply to both rear and the front selfie camera, which previously was limited to 1080p, so that's a nice little upgrade there. And also they've added a couple of nifty new features, including this noise reduction toggle, which you can turn on and off while you're recording, and particularly in trickier lighting, it, well, does what it says on the tin, really. It gives you a slightly smoother, less noisy video. One of my favorite camera features is this multi-video recording. So I've got the rear camera here. Hello, I've got the front selfie camera recording at the same time. Hopefully I don't get run over there. <laughs> and then you have picture in picture mode. So my little face down here in the corner, I can move it around. I can pinch to make it smaller or bigger. And then you can see this beautiful London street shot on the main rear camera. I really like this. And last but not least, this ships with Android 13 and Honor's Magic OS skin on top. It's 7.1 currently on here. It is nice and fast and there's some nice extra features. My only criticism really is there is quite a lot of pre-installed apps, aka bloatware, uh, a few games and tools and things, but you can always hide those or uninstall them if you want. And I do appreciate that does help them uh, reduce that initial price that we pay. So it's kind of a compromise that I think is worth it. But on the whole, I do quite like the software. And of course, if you do have one of their laptops or tablets, it does support Honor Share for quickly transferring files and a whole lot more. So for £449, which gets you 8 gigs of RAM and 256 storage, or if you fancy paying 50 quid more, you'll get 12 gigs of RAM and 512 storage, I think the Honor 90 is definitely worth considering. And if you do fancy checking this out, I will leave a link in the description below. If you've got any questions at all or anything you'd like me to test, let me know in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.